Welcome back programmers! Today I'm in the desert. Oh, it's hot! And I'm looking for snakes. I'm not very satisfied of how I left the code at the end of last episode. A lot of things were wrong. So in this episode, I'm correcting them. I will change the new Apple procedure to, as I said, um, make the apple appear somewhere that is not on the snake i will change the check is alive procedure so that it does not do many things at once and i will clean up the code add some comments and modify uh, the code here and there the new things you will see i have a now black theme for my pure basic i like the original theme but it appears that I have blue eyes and the screen being yellow, it made the color green and I had some trouble with my green screen. <laughs> yes. So let's dive into the code and uh, I'm gonna just do all the modifications at once and I will uh, see you at the end of the video so I can explain everything that I've done. Let's go.
Okay, I'm done with the code. It was quite a long session, but uh, let me try to explain what I've done. I've declared some constant here for the initial length, initial position of the, of the snake. Where do I use them? Okay, I added some nice comments on the on the procedures. This is a new procedure, is next cell. It returns if a point belongs to the snake. That will be helpful for two uh, other procedure. So the particularity with this code is that I'm using pointers because I need to pass a structure. The point is a structure. So because I need to pass a structure to a procedure, I need to pass it as a uh, pointer. This is how it's done. Just put a uh, star pos, okay, uh, and the structure type dot point. And in your code, you just use it as just the variable name is star pos, just like this. Very easy. This procedure actually returns true or false depending on uh, the uh, actual point that you pass. If the point is part of the snake, it returns true, otherwise, it returns false. Also, the new Apple procedure, uh, nice command, and then uh, I'm repeating. So I'm repeating the randomize, okay, of the cells of the Apple position X and Y. I get a random position until this actual position is not on the snake, and I'm doing by I'm doing that by calling the is next cell. Uh, apple pos equals false. So re, uh, notice here the at, the arrow base here, uh, that's how you pass a structure. That's the address of apple pos and that returns a pointer. That's what you need in the in the procedure, in the isnexcel procedure. You need a pointer, so you need to get the address of the Apple POS point. Okay, initialize again through the init procedure, added some comments, and that's where I'm using the new constant. Here I'm redimensioning the snake at snake initial length uh, minus one uh, because it's uh, an array. By the way, I'm initialing the array at zero because we are calling in it even for the first run so it's going to be redimensioned to the correct uh, size here i'm initially initializing the head of the snake to snake initial x snake initial y and i'm just doing a loop from zero to array size of snake so for the whole length of the snake i'm first putting snake x y at the head here, so the initial x, initial y, and then I move the head. I uh, subtract the square size every time, you know, every iteration of the loop. So the snake is going to be initialized from uh, the middle to the left for the number of cells. And yes, you have noticed snake initial lengths are start at eight, but uh, ten. Sorry, yes, why not? Love, yeah, it's a little bit big. Eight, okay. So you just have to change the snake length here and it will change the initial snake length. Also for the position, I'm just starting at the middle in the center of the screen. What else? Um, so in it, in it, no, nothing new here. Um, draw the background, just the comment. Okay. Check if the snake is alive. So. I changed the check is alive procedure. Now it's called just is alive. It returns an integer and it takes a position. It takes a point, a pointer to a point as a parameter. The parameter is the point to test and it returns false if the point is outside of the screen or on the snake. Yes, so the snake will die if its head is outside of the screen or if its head is on itself. And I'm checking that here. So all the X left and right, the Y top and bottom, and also the is next cell of position here. 
and uh, procedure return. So in that case, I'm returning false, meaning it's not alive anymore, it's dead. Otherwise, I return true. Main function, I just added some comments here and there, create the window, etc., etc., etc. Uh, I did a little bit of cleanup here, not really. See here, yes, here. So I'm, um, I'm just checking if the snake is eating the apple. If yes, I'm making the snake grow, and a new apple appear appears. I'm computing the next position of the snake head. I'm checking if it will be alive. Okay, if alive is alive of this next head. So I'm checking the next position, not the current one. And then if it's alive, I'm moving the snake, first its body and then its head. And if it's not alive, it's dead, meaning I calling init reinitially reinitializing the game. And the rest is pretty similar just some comments here and there you can check it out the code is available in the description box let's run it let's hope it runs and it does run yes it grows it eats apples and that works fine let let kill it let's kill it by crushing it to itself so you see it works one two three boom see boom boom that works very nice so just like the um, uh, previous episode the next step next steps for this game i forgot to mention music and sound effects of course pause resume menu option for the keyboard even option to start a new game, maybe some high score. Also display a score. Every time you eat an apple, you do plus one for the score, maybe. And you can keep the high score in a list somewhere accessible from the main menu. Something like that. If you have other ideas, just drop them down below. Do not forget to like, subscribe, comment. Just say anything. It helps the channel being visible. Thank you all for watching. I will see you very soon.